Hey everyone, we missed you too. Welcome back to the spotlight. Today we shall talk about Charlie D'Amelio's fight with Addison Ray, moments you have to see to believe. Make sure you stay till the end of the video so you don't miss out on juicy details about the fight among the TikTok queens. You'll absolutely be blown away. Reigning queens of TikTok. First and foremost, we obviously are going to talk about how Charlie and Addison are both reigning queens of TikTok. Charlie's fame has been the bona fide queen of TikTok for months on. She has gained over 61 million followers who are regularly watching her dance moves on the social media platform. Every single day, earning a whopping million new followers, she is gaining with unbelievable speed. Considering that she turned 16 this year, this is a really great opportunity for her. Charlie surpassed Laureen Gray, who has been the longest reigning queen of TikTok. Laureen had 48 million followers before Charlie took over her crown. However, Laureen has no hard feelings because she believes Charlie is a sweet girl and a great dancer. The market definitely has space for every amazing content V creator out there. On the other hand, we have Addison Rae, who turned 19 years this year. She is the fifth most watched TikToker with an incredible 44 million followers on the social media platform. Addison and Charlie are known for their amazing dance skills. We must hand it to them, they definitely know how to make them. Both being recruited to the TikTok hype house, they don't stay with other hype members, but frequently come to shoot videos and TikTok with the rest of the group members in the hype house. Addison and Charlie started posting their videos on the app just for fun, but that changed when they started gathering massive following and likes, throwing them to fame without warning or any warm up. This has been speculated as maybe the whole reason why both have begun to act up leading to their fight, but we shall get to that later. Make sure to stick along. They are best friends. Definitely more like close friends since Addison is three years older than Charlie, she is more of a best friend to her older sister Dixie D'Amelio. Apart from hanging out with other members of Hype House all the time, Addison and Dixie upload videos of both of them going out alone. One time Addison revealed that she went to dinner with her parents and Dixie and D'Amelio's parents. This is such an intimacy set up that people started to wonder probably Dixie and Addison have been dating behind our backs, but the pair have long put aside the crazy rumors and said they were simply just friends. You were, there's, there's, there's things going, like Addison had commented something back in the day about you, or are you guys, have you guys fixed that? Is there any issues between there's that? definitely, once you're friends, you just yeah. stay friends. Uh -huh. Things happen in the past, no hard feelings for me. For Charlie, Addison is like an extended family, but here is the thing though, Charlie and Dixie may be very close sisters, but like all sibling rivalry, it's no longer news to all of us that they squabble all the time. So when these little squabbles escalate, whose side would Addison pick? Keep up on the video and you just might make the correct speculation, but you also might be surprised. Addison and Charlie have a lot of things in common. Even though Addison is a bit older and therefore closer to Dixie, she and Charlie have many things they share in common, bringing along mutual understanding at a personal level. Again, this is the reason why we all did not expect that they would one day get into a fight that is so bad that they just had to throw hands. Starting this up, both Addison and Charlie have a collective experience of warning out haters who have nothing good to say about them. Body shaming is still very much a problem on today's social media platforms, but neither one of them are ready to sit back and allow all these people badmouth them on social media. Almost at the same time, Addison and Charlie posted XXXXX to their haters on Twitter. Charlie said, no stranger is in the right place to criticize anyone's physique, as well as tweeting, stop talking about my body. It is not your place to tell me if I'm losing weight or gaining weight. She ended the tweet by saying, I love you all, but please stop. A week before that, Addison was also the target of body shamers on the internet. She came out to state that the attack made her feel insecure, but she was still looking at it in a different light. Addison urged her peers to practice body positivity in light of the hate and negativity that is going around. This collective experience shows that Charlie and Addison are worth being role models for the young generation, and besides from this they have disapproved the body haters who said they don't deserve any of their attention they are getting. There are hundreds of people hating out on Charlie and Addison saying that they don't understand the hype, but of course, that's what TikTok is all about. It's a platform for non-celebrities and an image of dancers like these two to show the world what they've got and potentially make a brand for themselves. Secret Rivalry 
Despite their close friendship and their shared experience navigating the world of TikTok and social media, Charlie and Addison have always had this lingering friendly rivalry between the two of them. It's very understandable though, since they are TikTok dancers whose principal capital is inventing dance moves that will be recreated by TikTok users all across the globe. What we did not expect was that the friendly rivalry would eventually lead into something more serious. Just because she did a recent YouTube video actually, and it was like her learning TikTok dances at 3 a.m. and like mine was in it, like she was learning mine. So I, I think that's gonna happen in the near future, so. Not sure when this is gonna be out, but it might be. Okay, you heard it here first this. though, you guys, just saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, it must have been because of some particular fractious fans, those followers who love putting two influences against each other. And with these side-by-side -side videos that people have made of the two comparing their skills and even their looks, of course, that's bound to get under anyone's skin. One instance that spark rumors are that Charlie and Addison's rivalry may be taking a wild turn in their move across YouTube. Before TikTok, Addison had just been trying to make it as a YouTube influencer. Still, her following didn't grow as she wanted it to. She didn't make it past the 2 million mark, while Charlie's approaching 4 million, despite her having uploaded fewer videos to YouTube. There seems to have always been a silent race towards all the milestones that internet concentrators can achieve. Could this be the reason why they finally got into each other's nerves in a hash parking lot out somewhere? Well, we are definitely telling you all about it. There are a lot of people who noticed that Hype House doesn't feature much of the D'Amelio sisters anymore. This led many people to believe that Dixie and Addison may have had a falling out and naturally Charlie must have taken her sister's side. This could have fueled the shocking fight between these two teenage influencers. Some people even think tension started when Dixie, Addison and a few other TikTok influencers went on a few trips to New York City. As was expected, they made dozen of stars during this trip. Still, in one particular video, Addison introduced everyone to the viewers, and when it was time to introduce Dixie, D'Amelio said, and this is Dixie, better known as Charlie's sister. You could see Dixie's face snap from a broad smile. Obviously, people took this to mean that she didn't appreciate being introduced just as Charlie's sister. Nobody would blame her. Okay, this is Troy, better known as Zara, and this is Dixie, better known as Charlie's sister. What the? So Dixie had been providing for the family using money that she earned from modeling long before Charlie had any of her fame. Once Charlie became TikTok famous, it seemed like she slowly backed away into oblivion. Thus, having said that in public must have humiliated Dixie to no end, which could be why she started getting cold wars to Addison, being that her friend introduced her just as someone's sister definitely hurt her. To the fight. Three different videos have resurfaced allegedly showing a fight between the two TikTok queens. A video of a brunette and a blonde girl was filmed at a parking lot showing a fight in broad daylight as a small crowd that gathered took videos. Though from the leaked video, it is definitely hard to know and actually confirm whether it is Addison and Charlie fighting, owning to the angle and video quality. But still, a close comparison to the two. Funny enough, the second video was still taken at a parking lot, but this time it was in the evening while the area was dark. There were two different angles, most seemed to be teenagers and were in a quarrel, definitely seeming as if the fight would come up sooner. With this video, it does seem clear the two TikTok queens were at the parking lot area. You can actually hear Addison's name being called out more than once from some of the individuals in the video. Shortly after, a tall blonde girl appears in the video raging and attacks the brunette straight up. From the angle of the video taken, this one definitely seems to have been Charlie and Addison. What do you think? The third video also featuring a blonde and a brunette shows two girls getting into an altercation. But from individuals who personally know the girls in the video, came out to state that indeed it was not Addison and Charlie. But with the quality of the video and owning that they are on YouTube and thus blurred out, it makes it a bit tough to confirm whether the two girls are Addison and Charlie, our TikTok queens. But amid all these speculations, both individuals have not come out to deny or attest to the claimed fights. Considering that they do not let internet trolls get to them, we all expected them to come out and speak of the fights, but nothing from any of the two. They did not even come out to state whether the stories are false. Still, others have owned the speculation to probably the D'Amelio sisters and Addison not being in good terms, though both Charlie and Addison have posted new TikTok content together and seems as if there is no bad blood among the two. 
This might actually disprove the videos out on the internet of the two fighting, but still, it remains questionable as to why both Charlie and Addison have neither come out to speak on the fight stories making rounds about them. Well, I guess we might just have to wait and see, as they are still releasing videos. Probably one of them will just have to spill the beans and tell us. While you are here, go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen. See you there.